Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do Venus malformation imaging in the brain. So it is the high flow vascular malformation with hydro venous shunting, so complex nidus of adriole and venule without intervening capillary bed. Around 50% have acute hemorrhage, and a decreased consciousness. Around 25 see procedures, and 15% for call neurology finding, and 10% visible spontaneous bronchial hemorrhage is char in child should be considered AVM until proven otherwise. Epilepsy and progressive neurologic deficit typical occur in setting of light lesion. Demographic sex. Equal male and female ethnic occur in all ethnic group. Global prevalence of sporadic AVM around 0 0.02 to 0 0.2%. Imaging. Non contrasting in CT, parenchymal hematoma is most common. Small and ruptured avium are often not visible. May see calcification. CTA enhancing feeding artery, nidus, and training venous may be negative if avium is compressed by hematoma. Amor. Taiwan bright hemorrhage. G2 prominent dark flow avoid. G1 C plus enhancing abnormal vessel. Important for micro AVM. MRA cross inspection of AVM component. CD TOF flow related signal in training. Draining wine from sun. Advanced somehow. ASL. High signal in nidus and draining wine. SWI. High signal in draining wine. Digital subtraction. Catheter and geography. Go standard with high temporal and spatial resolution. Best identify all three components of avian, multiple atrial feeding vessel, internal external carotid, vertebral vasculite, deep visus superficial vein drainage, associated atrial nidus aneurysm, venous stenosis. This is non-contrast enhanced CT in a five years old with new onset seizure. So intraparenchymal hemorrhage in the left part of the lobe with surrounding low attenuation vasogenic edema. Such a finding should prompt immediate evaluation with CTA to detect an AVM, which is the most likely underlying cause or spontaneous hemorrhage in children. non contraction in CT in a 15 years old girl who was found and consists with dilated pupil, so extensive right posterior temporal and occipital intra parenchymal hemorrhage, note the surrounding parenchymal edema. A few small cassie peak Pussy in the major occipital lobe suggests an associated vascular malformation. DSA, lateral DSA in a 15 years old girl, so an enlarged atrial feeder arising from right ICA 
we are the PC com. Adri, the highly packed nidus is well defined, not the too enlarged superficial drainage when that opacify early during the other phase typical of avian. Also, the oblique CD surface render of a CTA in 15 years old girl who was found and consists with dilative pupil. So the entire extent and seizure of the right occipital area. Axial T2 in a 13 years old boy with headache, so large, hypointense, low lamas in the left parietal lobe with surrounding vasogenic edema. The morphology suggests intraparenchymal hematoma or pseudoaneurysm. Note the small tangle of flow voice along the posterior aspect of the vision, suggesting a possible underlying area. T1 C plus M are in the same eight years old girl, so a wet shape focus of tortuous enhancing vessel in the avian nidus, as well as dilated superficial draining vein. Treatment, acute surgical decompression may be required for mass effect from hematoma, may or may not receive malformation. Optimal treatment for underlying avian is based on variety of factor options include Microsurgery resection, ability to resect depend on spectrum grade. Endovascular embolization, minimal invasive technique, but often incomplete. Stereostatic, stereotactic radiosurgery may take years to its effect because of risk of re bleeding during the time. Can only be used for small avian. The recent trial suggested medical management may be superior to interventional therapy. Controversial study due to short term course. and methodology. Best therapy approach is slightly dependent on many avian and patient background. Thank you.